Hi everyone. Hi um, everyone. Scrapping Lizzie here just as scrappy as usual. I'm scrap happy. Today in the mail I got okay most of you know I'm working on um, journals for every state that I have friends in and I have got so many journals started that I just add to I add your name to it. When I learn where you're from, your name gets added to the journal. And so, and sometimes I get like little happy mails from people, and I use that happy mail also in my journals. And you know what? I got all these purple paper, purple paper, purple papers here. So this is going to be a purple journal. I won't use this yellow. Put that back down in the box. And I'm going to do this one just with all purple. Purple pages. But I just got today a happy mail from Hawaii. Well, I do not have a, a, a journal yet started for Hawaii. But now I do because here it is. And so, and I make these just as simple, as simple, as simple can be. As you see, I just took five pieces of, of um, cardstock. I'm just going to, and I just folded them in half. And now I will punch three holes along the spine and I'm not worried about having them exactly right. That is not something that I lose any sleep over. I've got ribbon here and it just happens to be gray. So I'm using gray. And um, and I'm just going to put, put this in here. I'll go into this middle one. And then out the bottom one or the top one, doesn't matter which one. Then back in the middle one. And then out this next one, the last one. And there you go. That's as simple as it gets. And then I'm going to just tie a knot in a bow right here at the top. That's how this one's going. I have some of them I sewed together with a sewing machine. Some of them I just did a, um, oh, I don't know what you call that stitch. It's like this, except I put a whole bunch of holes, a whole bunch. And so this one is together. It is now a journal good enough and it is beautiful this is my Hawaii journal but um, so now one thing I have excuse me a little bit you're gonna have to move just a hair thank you darling um, I have these little pieces of fabric that one's Illinois North Carolina Wyoming Alaska Vermont, Michigan, Louisiana, West Virginia, South Dakota. Some of these are doubles of what I already have, but I'm looking for Hawaii. There it is. There's Hawaii. Okay. So Hawaii is going to is going to go right on here. So in right now, I'm going to staple it on with my mini attacher. So that is just the beginning because all of them, even though they will have other things on them too, they all have this little piece of fabric because I found this fabric in my stash and I said, oh my goodness, that's perfect. So now here, let's look and see what's in here. I opened it up. I opened it up, but I haven't really. This comes from Maggie in Hawaii and I didn't dump things out yet 
but I did take this envelope out and I saw on the envelope, look how beautiful them hibiscus flowers. She says, I was on your live show the other day and you were talking about your state journals. I was the follow I was the follower from Hawaii. I just wanted to send you some fun things from over here to get you started with your Hawaii journal. You are such a treasure and a pure to watch. Such pure joy to watch. Just so you know, you are not old. We are vintage. We are not old. We are vintage. Thank you for making my day when I see your videos. Blessings and mahalo from Maggie. Thank you. And thank you, Maggie. This, for one thing, is going to go into the journal. And so, in fact, that, I'm going to put that right now. Um, I am so glad that I started putting my, I, I'm organizing things into my carts, or my trolleys, I call them. And I have the one trolley that is just for paper craft. Um, it's for paper crafting my my journals. All the journals are in the top story of three cured cart. They're all in the top. And um, oh, I was going to put that over there. I didn't know. Now, and so I was going to put that over there to cover up those staples, but I didn't, and it's okay. And so let's see. She's got this piece of chipboard. I think she put that in there just to keep the whole thing from getting all squashed up. And now here it says Mahalo. Now we're going to have to, somebody's going to tell me what Mahalo means. It is a Hawaiian word for something. Oh, look at all of these things in this tea bag. This is a tea bag full of things. Oh, my word. I love these little tea bags like this. These are so cute. And this is one of the, the tea colored ones. And it's got like a little drawstring there where you can actually put your own tea leaves in there. Oh, there's still another little fish in there. So, well, you know what I'm going to do with this right away is I, oh, now I know. It says right here, it says mahalo or mahalo means thank you. So now I know. It's thank you. So that just answered my question. Mahalo, thank you. So we're going to put, we're going to put this here. Here I cover up the staples that I just used to, um, and look at here at the, um, the, how cute there's the, the, um, Mermaid tail and a little bird. Fancy aloha. Now aloha. Oh, I think a aloha means hello and goodbye both, if I'm not mistaken. And look at this. This is just, this is perfect for my Hawaii book. Is this a sticker or is it? It almost feels like it might be a sticker, but now I'm thinking maybe not. So I'm going to... Um, Probably should go through everything before I start sticking. But I am going to put this on here like this. Here it says Hawaiian goose and hibiscus. The hibiscus then here is the state flower apparently. And the Hawaiian goose is the state bird. So we know that. We got that figured out. And... I still feel like these should be stickers for some reason. Let me see. Just, just feel like it. I knew it. It is a sticker. There we go. Let's put those right there. And then let's add these little fish. These are so adorable. Aloha. I think I'm going to put that right there. And then that's going to hold. Now, see, you don't have to put, as you can see for me anyway, 
You don't have to put a lot of thought into your journals. Just do a journal. Look at these little fish. This is so cute, little fish. And this was such a happy meal for today. I have been worried the last couple of days about my my health. I don't know why I was so worried. I just had myself up there with Queen Elizabeth. I'm telling you, I get so worried sometimes. But um, And I knew I would be right there next to her because God does place everybody in alphabetical order. And so I read that somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm sure it's true. And um, for cute. Look here, she put a... Um, Little string and a shell. I mean, lace and a shell onto the paper clip. That is wonderful. So we're going to put that on there, too. That's pretty. I am in Venice right here. And there's a, a card at the Ace of Hearts. It says, Iole. Iole. I'm not sure. Okay. But then here's that little... Let me put this card inside here because that will fit right in there. Let me see now. Oh, that's oh, that's the back I pulled off of that doohickey. Okay, well, let me just look through this stuff here. Um, look, an umbrella or an umbrasol, as Papa would say. See, you can put these on your little drinks. The, if you go over there and get a drink, they'll put the umbrella in. Look at this. Or if it's just sprinkling rain, look how pretty that is. That's pretty. That's adorable. Okay, I don't want to break that, so I'm going to close that up again with this little rubber band for right now. And see, this might be something, too, that would live nicely inside of this, this tea bag thing. You know what I might do? I might just go ahead and glue the edges of that tea bag like that and put that right here. And that way I've got that little card, that little card, and um, the umbrella is in there for life. And then this little fish. This little fish, and he's a sticker. I know he's a sticker. See, and I feel like I should know what that fish is called, too. The little pudgy fish like that. I forget, though. I don't know right now what it's called, but he's going to live right there. There. Now, let's see what else is in here. As I am just absolutely excited. This, oops, I moved my little thingy, my jiggy. Well, let me just put this on here. Look at this. And, you know, I don't have to stop and say, oh, you know, some people, what do they call it? They start putting things around and they say that they're, um, oh, I can't remember the word, but they use a word that they're, try it here and try it there and try it there, like, like movie stars do, see where they fit best. I just put things down. Now, this here is about Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park. Instant Beach. And then there's some talk there about. Now, see, this stuff like this goes in pockets because you can't glue that information down. And there is a postcard. Fly Hawaiian Air. And it's a postcard. Well, let me look. <gasps> And, oh, and another, two more postcards. There's a, um, oh, my words are gone. Manta Ray. Manta Ray. When our, our, um, our, um, in Tampa, we have Tampa Bay Rays. It's a baseball team. They were ba Manta Rays when they first started, but then they took the mana off of there. And now they're just Rays. It's a manta ray in deep blue open ocean water. And look how deep blue beautiful that are. That are that is. And this is a strand of raspberry pink sim, cymbidium orchids. Those are beautiful. 
Now see, these would make pockets as well. Let, let me see though. Let me see. I'm not going to glue any of these things down quite yet. Oh, and then here is a volcano house. Oh, and there's the Hawaii postcard. I've got almost all the state. Well, I don't have almost half. I got about a half of the states in postcards that, um, in, um, in postcards that, that say the name just like that on there. Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Greetings from the Volcano House. That is so cool. Vol volcanoes, I guess they're not all that cool. But, I mean, if it's a volcano that is constant and it's not causing any trouble, then they're beautiful. They are. Look at this here picture. Volcanoes National Park. See, I didn't even know there was a Volcanoes National Park, but I do now. And then here is a farmer's market. And that is in Hawaii, Kamuela, kamuelafarmersmarket.com. Oh, look at all them vegetables and fruits. Beautiful. Whale watch. Oh, that is cool, too. Look at that. What do they call that? The fluke. I think they call that the fluke of the whale. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beekeeping and honey tour. Big I at Big Island Bees. There's a lot of stuff I want to oh look at here. This week Big Island Top Big Picks. Crazy shirts. Look at that t-shirt she's wearing with that turtle on her. That's beautiful. Oh, and there oh there's a, a little there's a little um Map. Let me see if this. Yeah, I could actually glue that back. I could glue that back right on. If I go into the back of the book. Now, see, this is going to be up higher and, and down lower than the book. But I think all my books will add up and end up like that. That they'll be um, what I call never ending. So just because the page is this big, that doesn't mean that the whole thing has to be that big you know that it doesn't mean that it's too big let me see i'm going to let me see if i want it to go yeah i'm going to do it that way so it's a little taller so then if i stack them this bottom then that'll be fine so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to glue it on so i'm going to have that glued on there because I want that map for sure. See, so that's glued right there in the book now. And so now the book is still usable. I can still add things to the book. Oh, look at this stuff. You know, when I have something like this, I can actually tour. I can tour the whole United States. Now I've gotten something from... This is the third state, um, Tennessee. Oh, gosh, forget it, Elizabeth. You can't remember nothing. Um, but see, now this will open where I have the map. This is the map of Monaco, Mon, Mauna Loa. Is that the main island in Hawaii? See, I'll learn. I'll learn and see there's a more of a map. This week's Big Island. There's a volcano map. Oh, and, and there is a map. North North Wai, Waimea Han, Hanaka Hamakua. Such beautiful names that I can't say. Look at this. This is beautiful. All them maps. And there's the fluke of the whale. And it's always got these little things you can scan them. I've never scanned one of them. I don't know how they work. Look at that along the beach. How nice. Adver advertisements. Coupons where you can get cheap stuff. 
do the high-low hop into the high-low hottie or hattie or something. How fun is that? Look at how my book, look at my Hawaii book already. I'm not even done with my stuff. Beekeeping and honey tour. Oh, this was the whale, folks. This is Island Eggs. Our family farm has bought you, brought you fresh island eggs since 1947. We continue the tradition of excellence with our Kylie white eggs. These eggs are laid by our beautiful all-white leghorn hens. Thank you for buying our local farm fresh island hens. So they, this come out of an egg carton. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Okay, put that there. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Look at this. I have got a piece of fabric. Look at that. That says Hawaii all over it. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. That's going to go on one of my slow stitching um, pieces, one of my little quilt pieces. And here's another piece of fabric. Oh, my word. Look at this. When I saw that one picture of the young lady, when I see that one picture of the young lady, now i got to see her again. But she was walking on the beach, and she had like a little scarf wrapped around her, wrapped around her waist. Well, maybe she wasn't in here. But look at even the dresses, how they're a Hawaiian like that. But Oh, here she is. See that? How Maybe that's just her beach towel. I don't know. But um, doesn't that look like this here would be perfect? Yes. This would fit me perfect too, right? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's a big piece. I love it. Thank you. I got fabric from Hawaii. There. Now here... Let me see if I can put this over here. Now here is, oh, here is some pieces. Oh, these are beautiful. Now I have, oh gosh, don't you just, these double-sided pages make me crazy because then I say, well, which side do I want? They don't really make me crazy. You know what I can do, though? I can, okay. Here, see there. Now I have pockets because I can take. You know what? I can't cut a straight line, so what I do is I cut a curved line. I cut a curved line like this, like a wave. And then this doesn't have to be straight. See, it's perfect. So I am going to use this half, and I'm going to make a pocket. There. Where's my book? There it is. And see, now I can go in here. And I know of one other, or maybe two other. Oh, this is wider than the page. Okay, so this is going to have to be a sideways pocket. You're going to be a sideways pocket right here. Okay, there. Now, where'd that other piece go? Where'd that other half go? See how quickly Elizabeth loses her things? She's lost her mind. She's lost her piece of paper. She's lost everything. It's gone, 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 like a gone goose. Oh, oh there it is. Now, so this pay, this is just like a sandy peach piece. So now I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to cut that a little bit shorter this way. And now I have a pocket that will fit on this side. And so, there we go. Now I can go like this here. And I have this beautiful pocket. Now, postcards and such can go in there. And now, oh, you know what I'll do here? Now this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so here what I'll do 
Well, it's got to go this way because this is the sky and this is the sand. And so, yeah. So this one's going to go like this. I'm just going to make this a little. Curvy line. And that's going to go in here. And I'm just going to glue along these two edges. Geez, those two edges. And then I have a pocket there. Now this piece, look at here. I can put this. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. I want this. I want this piece to show too. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I could go and put this up here and then it kind of just matches up. But then I would not have, oh no, this has to go this way because otherwise the palm trees are all upside down. That's all right. Wait a minute. Can't have upside down. It's going to, it's going to, oh, I can go like this. There, now I got it glued across the bottom and right here, and I am going to go like this. Now, that's two pockets. I won't put my postcards in there yet because the glue might not be all the way dry. And um, I'm going to do the same thing with these. Honolulu, Honolulu. Oh, is that? No, it's a little different. Oh, now what is this now? Tapa cloth made from bark of trees. Tapa or tapa, T-A-P-A -A cloth. Oh, my word. This... Is it supposed to come apart? I don't know. I don't want to pull it apart. But this is amazing. I think that this... See, it's kind of open right here. But I think that's just a layer of the cloth. So I don't want to take that apart. So what I do think I want to do, though, is... I'm going to use the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew it right down here into this page. Not right this minute, though. See? I want this to show, though. Yeah, so, oh, I think I'll sew it this way. And I'm going to sew it right down here. And so then it will still open this way. And then... <clears throat> I will leave this little post note, post-it note, right there on there, so I never forget what that is. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew that in there when I get to my sewing machine. This is amazing. That's amazing. So I have to look into that. That's not anything, of course, that I have ever had in my whole entire born days. But look at my journal already. See, and so I have. A lot of these postcards are going to go in the pockets, but I'm not going to put them in the pockets until I know that glue is good and dry. When I know the glue is good and dry, that's when I'm going to put them into the pockets. But see there, I've got her note here. Oh, I got to, um, I have to, I also keep the addresses. And so this is from Maggie over in Hawaii. What a blessing. And like I said, I come home from the doctor's office. Well, I felt better after I went to the doctor's office. Then I knew I wasn't dying anymore. But um, so we've got a plan of action for my reasons for being at death's door. And so, and I know I'm going to be just fine. So. 
but I gotta put my feet up. So I'm not gonna be here long, and then these feet have got to go up. And salt is absolutely not in my diet ever again in my whole born days. Nothing but salt at all. Okay, so there. Now then I got her address there. And see, these will go in here. Look at how those will go. And I can still add little things here because some of these, I don't have to leave them whole. I can cut these apart and I can cut like the whale fluke out here and I could put maybe a whale fluke right there. And so I might do that with some, I won't cut the postcards apart. Those ones will have to stay beautiful just like they are. Because I love postcards. And so, and then this, I think this one's going to go up there in that, in that tea bag. So that'll go up there with the umbrella and the card into that tea bag. Really, it will. Okay. Well, I'll do that in a minute. Look at that. So now I've got my Hawaii book. And this morning at this time this morning, well, it wasn't this time this morning, I did not have a, I didn't have anything Hawaiian. I did not have my Hawaii book. I do now. So I'm going to leave these like this. And everything will always stay right in this book. I will make a little more organization in there. Look at that, the shell and everything. And that's my book from Hawaii. So that adds to my collection of books, which I have so many now. It's just really growing. Um, thank you so much, Maggie. Thank you so, so much. This is beautiful. Now. I want to thank everybody who watched my video earlier this morning. I put up the video about um, some um, junk journal ephemera packs that are just stuff for a junk journal. And already three people have purchased it. I'm so, so, so excited about that. And um, I thank you so much. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. Um, and each package will be different. And so, so yeah. I want to sing a song. What do I want to sing? Um, I have so many old, old, old fashioned songs. Oh, these ones all here are all my. Well, I want to sing one of these. Oh, these are so beautiful. I'm going to. Well, I see you can see I haven't used this book in a while. And so I'm going to sing a song. And here's where you can hang up. These are all um, more of the old um, hymns. Let me do this one. How great thou art. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands hath made, I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my 
my Savior God to thee. How great thou How Okay, I can only sing that much because I can't get up high. My voice just disappears when I get up that high. So that's all. Well, what's in this book? Do we have any Hawaiian songs? Uh, this was. This isn't Hawaiian. It's Tennessee. I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee waltz when an old friend I happened to see. I introduced him to my loved one and while they were waltzing my friend strolled my sweetheart from me. I mean, oh, I can't do that one either. It's too high. But anyway, I I won't try and sing anymore. I won't. Love makes the world go. My bond lies over the ocean. There's a San Francisco song. Good night, sweetheart. Please rewish me, let me go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. And I hung my head and I cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Red River Guy, like I'm too. Okay, I'll shut it. Okay, I'll shut it. I'll shut it. I hear you. I see the tomatoes. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. Bring you back to the next video, safe and happy and secure and healthy and all of those wonderful, wonderful things. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll be making another video soon because that's just something I do. And so I asked God to watch over you. I already said that. And um, I'm looking for my mouse and I'm just running my mouth. Oh, there's my mouse right there. Okay. God bless you and thank you so much for watching my Hawaiian book.